Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Andre here at Zenimov.com. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have the accessory set for the Hulkbuster finally here. It came out about two weeks ago in Hong Kong. And as you can see, there were some delays. And of course, we all know the reason this freaking Corona pandemic. And that's also one of the main reasons why I was a bit offline in the past few weeks and months. Not because of my private life, that's all right. I mean, we have it somehow under control with the social distancing thing. It's rather annoying, but yeah, okay. And right now in our uh, country, Switzerland, we're losing a bit on the lockdown. So it's not as restricted as some weeks ago. So that's definitely some hope. But we had some major stuff to do at my office to somehow get the operations running and on. And then, of course, there was my private project with moving into a new home. Uh, then we have now a delay of about one month, but I cannot wait to get into my new collection room in the basement with the home cinema and everything. Maybe I'll throw in a small picture of what I have envisioned. I'm definitely co collaborating with a professional home theater um, expert, and I can't wait to see this room realized. So in today's video, we want to cover the thing on the right side, which is a standalone accessory set for the original Hulkbuster figure. And as you know, Hot Toys being the best capitalist figure company out there, they used the best opportunity to re-release the whole figure again with the additional accessory set in one full conversion total package. That's not what I can show you here. This is just a standalone version with the arm, which still costs about 250 US dollars. If you want to get it right now, it's even more expensive because of the added charges on the EMS shipments. And I think I paid about 400 US dollars for the single piece here on the right side with the shipping charges. And it took even a week longer than usual. So right now EMS is still a good option, but rather expensive and it takes about double the time. So I'm quite curious how this turns out because both accessories, so the actual arm with the check hammer attachment and the interlocking uh, lower arm as an interchangeable piece, they have been announced years ago. I think at the same time as the initial release that you can see here on the left side. And Hot Toss always showed us promo shots. It was, wasn't all conventions. And for me, it looked like they could release it at any time, but now it's three, uh, three years later. So um, I'm not sure if it's a engineering issue or a factory issue or if it's just kind of the economic strategy of them. Okay, I would say let's cut the rambling here, even though I think some of you were interested in some of the updates or a bit more on the history of the actual Hulkbuster figure. If you really want to know all the details about this release that you can see here on the left side, there will be a, a link in the top right corner to my original video review, so please check that out if you want to get all the things related to the Hulkbuster figure. So, I would say let's get this thing rolling. I will start and capture a bit of the box art, then we will go into the actual replacement process of the arm. I probably have to speed up the whole thing a bit, but my idea and my intention is to film the whole replacement process. Okay, let's get this thing rolling. All right, for the art box, there's basically quite an interesting art design or at least package design because what you receive here is definitely just an arm with two additional lower arms and thus the packaging is rather tall. And this led to some funny moment with my girlfriend. She asked me, what did I receive in the mail? Because she only saw this towering package. I said, it's an arm. And she thought uh, by initial reaction it's the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet, which would have been a kind of a nice deal as well. But uh, yeah, what we got here is the Hulkbuster accessory arm. And by the way, I read something about an arms dealer figure, a custom figure of Ulysses Claw. I might throw in a picture here. This could be an interesting add on for basically completing the Avengers Age of Ultron line because Claw was also in the same movie. So let's talk first about this Veronica orbital platform, which is kind of an extended weapon system for Hulkbuster or other Iron Man suits in emergency situations like battling a Hulk. 
And on a first look, it looks rather nice. It's nicely painted, nicely sculpted. But if you compare it with a once scale figure, you will definitely notice kind of a height difference. And it's definitely not in scale with a once scale figure because in real life, this thing here would be towering over everything. So it's really meant as a background diorama piece, which everybody knew of us, but I think a lot of us hoped that it would be a bit, bit larger. But yeah, it is what it is, all plastic. You also can remove this pole here. So let's get this baby in. What we have here is the replacement arm with the interlocking lower arm attached into the actual arm piece. So this whole thing is the replacement joint that goes into the Hulkbuster piece. As you can see, there are some screws in it. I think there are some metal pieces, but overall it's a rather kind of pile of plastic, I would say. Not to be harsh here, but um, what you get actually for the price is a lot of plastic and it's really just an accessory set. Then of course you have an interchangeable lower arm, which is the one that a lot of people ask for. It's the Jackheimer arm with these um, three fingers here that are fully rotatable. So you actually can rotate it like this. Oh, there's still some foam left, sorry for that. Then there's articulation in the whole finger joints in each segment and look at the size so it's definitely on the large side also the arm itself it's really a massive piece so aside of the articulation of the hand and the rotation you can actually extend the whole thing here in the front and here in the back side let's see how this looks on the figure then below this part here there's the switch for the light up feature it looks like this and maps perfectly to the original Hulkbuster light of features. So one major highlight I want to get out rather quickly. So beneath this segment here you find the cylinder, which is metal by the way, that connects the lower part into the upper arm. And I want to show you a quick hint how this gets snug pretty easy, because on mine at least, right out of the box, I could not match the replacement lower arm that easy into the socket. It's all about alignment, guys. And let's quickly check how we unscrew this whole thing and how you have to properly align this cylinder piece into the socket. So now these two screws are removed and then you definitely have to pull a bit with force to pull out this metal cylinder, which is kind of a weighty piece and then have a look at this alignment so it's really important that the rectangle that you can see here on the cylinder matches exactly the alignment of the rectangle down below otherwise if you have not this alignment you cannot properly fit in the cylinder into the socket and out of the box it was impossible so what i had to do i had to remove the lower part of the arm and then you basically have better access to the joint down there because this piece down there is actually actually the ratchet joint which is inside this area so you basically can get in the cylinder now with the right alignment so the goal is to basically align the ratchet joint inside this whole piece uh, by moving the ratchet joint first with the cylinder in this uh, unfinished state. So you push in the cylinder this way, then you can turn, as you heard. When you pull out now, the alignment has been shifted. So that's wrong and this is the way it was for me out of the box. So you first have to push in again, turn it back like this. So. Basically, you now slide in the lower arm again into the upper arm and you will see that the alignment is now fully um, flat and in line with the segment. And this way, then you can easily snug in the cylinder and screw it in. 
So this out of the box was definitely a failure on mine. It took me about 10 minutes to find out that I can basically override the ratchet joint inside the silver compartment there. Then I would say we move into the replacement process of the full arm. I saw that this additional piece is inside the box. It probably has something to do with the replacement procedure, but let's have a quick look first at the manual. So there's nothing new, light up features, articulation, as you can see. Oh yeah, of course, there's another additional light up feature on the upper arm. I'm sure it is then mounted on the figure. And here we go. That's the replacement process of the lower arm that I showed you earlier before. And I assume here on the back side is now what we have to do in replacing the full arm. So yeah, this looks kind of an engineering take. And I'm curious how this turns out. Let's see. All right, the surgery is all prepared. Let's see how Hulkbuster performs in this kind of arm. Um, yeah, let's call it amputation first. And the first thing we need to do is to basically replace the lower armor here. Take off these parts. I think it can be fully taken out like this, yeah. And also this part. So there you see basically the area but we want to get now some results done. Okay, next up, it gets a bit more complicated, but we need to invest in some real tools now because it says screwdriver 10 and a half centimeter not included. What we have here is a three and a half inch screwdriver. So that's about eight centimeters. And I think I now have to zoom in onto the. So you basically get screwdriver into that hole there doesn't go in that far but it seems there's kind of a blocking element which is hopefully the screw. Well, let's find out. That's the screw rather on the large side. So next up we have to use this additional accessory that was in the box. It seems that according to the manual it is um, a tool that basically helps us to remove the whole arm and I think it goes into that socket there somehow. Okay, I would say let's start the procedure with the tool. Down there you see this gray notch in the slot and this tool goes directly into that direction. I assume you have to hold the piece like this, align it with the notch and then somehow push it down but I'm really not that confident because it uses a lot of force and I'm not sure if you have to push it down from the upper side or if you have to line it first and then push it kind of to the back side. Also they tell you you have to kind of bend the upper arm backwards but right now it's definitely not that easy. One hour later. Okay guys, so this is probably one of the dumbest mechanisms to attach an arm on a finger since, I don't know, forever. It took me, no shit, sorry for swearing, one hour to get at least one of these notches out. As you can see here, I have no clue, maybe it's because my hook Hulkbuster is old, it's a bit rusty, but guys, that's an absolutely disgusting work to do. Uh, look at my hands, totally full of bruises. Two thousand years later. Oh boy, what a monumental task. It took me now about one and a half hours to remove this damn left arm from the Hulkbuster. No idea what was happening on my original 1.0 Hulkbuster. Somehow this whole joint was totally stuck. Um, as you can see here, I also had some bell damage done on this notch, otherwise I would have never uh, pushed it through. I had to use a screwdriver instead of the tool, push it real forceful onto the edge area and then you basically wiggle the whole joint. So you basically at, at, you wiggle at that area, you don't have to use the ratchet. And then you first wiggle it into the back side. 
then the first notch lifts up, you wiggle it into the front side with a lot of force, it doesn't feel really good in the end. Okay, really important advice, just remove all the flexible and movable elements from the torso area first. Remove the helmet, remove this front armor piece and then you have just a bit more free space to actually put force on it and you don't have to worry about breaking uh, these elements. For example, and that was a real pity, on the left arm, there you can see this area, it's just a glued area, this whole piece fell off. It's just a pain in the ass and really sucks. Okay, I would say let's go ahead and try to attach the new arm, probably with the same notches again. So here it says just move horizontally to the joint. Yeah. So it seems that's it actually. Pretty fast, eh? So it seems that the new arm is easier removable because right now if I use the tool you will see it will snap off immediately. So yeah, that's a good point actually. Uh, I have no idea what's happening with my original arm. Wow, finally done with the attached accessory arm and it looks really cool, I have to say. And let's quickly check the light up feature on the left shoulder. So the LED compartment on the shoulder is beneath this plate here. Just remove it. There's a switch and bam. Pretty sweet and it fits perfectly in the overall lighting concept on the Hulk Buster. Okay, after all this cumbersome work and procedure I wanted to fresh things up and bring in Hulk into the game and try out the interlocking lower arm and I would say this looks like a good display option of course I would definitely prefer to check him a piece but overall I think this also works as you can see the size and dimensions of both pieces is amazing and I think that this video even cannot really describe the overall look and feel of both figures. Well, so job done, finally check hammer arm attached and I would say I call it the day because I will never remove that freaking jackhammer arm again, that's for sure, at least not for the original arm, because that procedure, if you have an original arm that is stuck in place because this joint is kind of, I don't know, glued together, this is really a painful, painful procedure and it goes totally on your nerves. So let's have a final look at this jackhammer arm. So here we go again with Hulk and basically we have here a good left punch from Hulk Buster to Hulk. I didn't bother doing the get to sleep pose because I just don't have enough surface and space to do this pose. But I'm quite curious about your upcoming pictures when you receive the accessory set or the deluxe version. Overall, this looks really epic and this will be the main display arm that I will use from now on. Here a bit of a variant with Hulk and Hulkbuster in a frontal battling pose. If I have the collection space in my new home, I will probably aim for something like this. It looks pretty straight amazing. Ok, 
Okay, conclusion time for the accessory set for the Hulkbuster. It's kind of a mixed bag, I would say. I mean, I had this huge pain and hassle with the procedure of the removal of the original. Um, I really hope that it was just my piece and you won't run into any problems, but of course it's still quite a bad, bad thing that happened there. I mean, that's kind of one half an hour of my life lost, really totally lost and my fingers all bruised up, so definitely not a good experience. But then again, you receive some cool accessories, a bit overpriced, but in the end, I'm just not feeling it. If I would have gotten the full Hulk Bus and Deluxe set right now, that would have been another story, but this way, I'm not so sure. Of course, me, and that's the usual phrase, as a hardcore Iron Man collector, it's a must have, but for all the other people, I'm not so sure. So make up your own mind. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Bye bye guys.